going to be showing you how to wire up a Tico servo axis. Uh, Tico drivers and motors are our most affordable servo line. Here we have the control and encoder cables. This is the uh, motor power cable and the motor encoder cable. This is the drive and our 750 watt Tico motor. All right, first thing I'm gonna do is connect the control cable between the Apollo 3 and the drive. This is the CN1 connector and goes in the big plug there. Then we've got our control cable and our encoder feedback. All right, next thing we're gonna do is connect the power cable to the motor. It's just a simple screw-on connector here. Here we have the power plugs coming to the drive. We've got U, V, W, and ground. They go on the bottom four screws here on the drive. U, V, and W, and then ground. Uh, so when you're hooking this up to your machine, you also put a ground, an earth ground from this uh, post here, but we're not gonna do that right here. Last cable here is the encoder, feedback cable from the motor to the drive. So it's the same kind of the screw on connector. Like that. Finally, we'll bring our power to the drive. So we're gonna have our L1 and L2. And now it's all set up. Now you can see we've got the power up and we've got the encoder readout on the screen. And now we've got motion on our motor. All right, now you know how to wire up a Tico servo drive and motor. Uh, thank you for watching and uh, feel free to watch our other videos. And if you want to learn more about us, go to mockmotion.com.